Instead of issuing emergency alerts for entire counties, the National Weather Service sends out tornado warnings to the areas that forecasters think will be directly in the path of the storm. They do this by drawing polygons around the most threatened areas. Now, this is a zoomed in view of one of those polygons. The tornado warned area is highlighted here in red. The green line here, that's the tornado's actual path. And as you can see right here, about a quarter mile of the tornado's path fell outside the polygon, meaning that many people in Clark Mills, including the three victims and their families, may not have gotten a tornado alert on their phones. Just minutes after the National Weather Service in Binghamton made this Facebook post, the comments began pouring in. Do you know why some people, but not all, received that alert? I live in Clinton, a mile from where it touched down, and I didn't receive an alert either. Yes, we have been asking the same question. Others down the road got the alerts. The three phones in our home did not. News Channel 9 took those concerns directly to Mark Pellerito at the National Weather Service. Some of those people may not have gotten the alert on their phones. That is possible, but again, it depends on the uh, smartphone model that they have, the settings of their phone, and then even the locations of the cell towers that they're receiving their signal from. Looking at the timeline, the National Weather Service issued severe thunderstorm warnings at 3.14 and 3.46 a.m. The tornado warning came in at 3.54, and the tornado materialized four minutes later. It's one of the most dangerous things about this storm is that it happened about 4 a.m. when everyone was sleeping. And so in the middle of the afternoon, people tend to be aware of every warning that's going on, all the watches, warnings and stuff. But late at night, you're dependent on whatever you have set up to receive warnings. That's why the National Weather Service encourages you to have multiple ways of receiving warnings, whether it's opting into emergency alerts on your phone, having a NOAA weather radio, or signing up for New York Alert. It is critical that you have more than one way of getting a warning. And Pellerito pointed out just how rare this storm was. Since 1950, there have been 30 confirmed tornadoes in Oneida County, and only one other happened after midnight and before dawn. Because of recent staffing cuts at NOAA and the National Weather Service, News Channel 9 made sure to ask whether those cuts played any role in the forecasting of Sunday storms. We were told that the Binghamton office has not lost any staff as a result of those national cuts. Rachel Polanski, News Channel 9.